Good morning and afternoon and evening. Chris Richter here from ricochet.com.au. Something I wanted to show you that was a bit of a cool little trick, and this is uh, part of my Did You Know series. Uh, did you know that you can add a course search button onto your site very, very quickly? Yes, you have to be an admin to add this, but it is really simple and easy to do. And what I'm talking about is this course search button up the top here. I'm in Moodle 4.0 on the Boost theme. Works on any theme though, so you're quite capable of adding it yourself if you're an admin. The course search just lets users click on course search and it pops up with a course search screen and you can type in whatever you like. I'll put in demo because there's some demo courses and it will search for whatever the courses are, show you the categories that they're in, uh, show you who the teachers are, all the information is there for you and it's quite simple using a course search button. Let me show you the important thing is, let's get straight in and actually build it, here we go. The course search URL is your website with slash course slash search dot php. So grab that course search dot php part and copy that because you'll need that. That shows you that the course search thing actually works. But how do we get that button up the top here in the course search? Quite simple, site administration. Yes, you do have to be an admin. We've already established that. We go into site admin, then go to appearance. Scroll down to theme settings. And this is the global theme settings, not a particular theme. Scroll down to the custom menu settings and you'll see in here, I've already got this in there for you as an example, but we put in dash, the name of what we'd like the search to be. So you could change that to search courses, then a space. Then we put in this little divider. So that's a shift and backslash on most computer keyboards. Then we have slash courses slash search dot PHP. That was that URL that we grabbed from up the top before. We put that into the custom menu items and that's all you have to do. If you wanted to add a different one, we could put in there ricochet and go HTTPS com slash slash. So you can redirect this to any URL that you like. It doesn't really matter. Quite simple and easy. Let's go down and save changes and have a look at what that looks like. So now we have a search courses and we also have ricochet. Notice that's a drop down. That's because I put the dash in front of it. Because there's a dash there, that becomes a drop down list. If I was to remove the dash, which we can do, jump back here. like so, and save changes. We'll now have search courses and ricochet as two separate things. Or if you wanted to go back in again and put the dash back in and just say dash a useful sites, sorry, put useful sites in, then put the dash next to ricochet and save that. You'll see that now we have search courses is one option where they can go and search courses. Useful sites is a drop down now with Ricochet. Obviously, if you added more dash URLs in after that, so if we add another one here, dash something, uh, we could just put in the, the Moodle website, making sure you put in that upright line just there as well. And uh, what is it? middle.org with the dash in front. That means it's a sub folder or a sub menu item and save changes. And we've now got useful sites, Ricochet and Moodle, and then the search courses function where they can search for courses. Now there's no permissions on this, so it doesn't actually matter what their role is or what their permissions are as a user. Everybody gets access to those links because they're in the top menu, but bet you didn't know that that existed and you could do it. And it makes it so much easier to find courses and search for courses, especially when you're in a development environment where you are dealing with thousands or at least hundreds of courses as well. Have you found that useful? My name is Chris Richter from ricochet.com.au. Don't forget, look in the comments, check out the courses that we have on using online learning and Moodle specifically. There's some great ones there. I'll talk to you again very soon.